Old intro is back and old intro is win. I'll make a new one soon, but until then, enjoy the deliciousness that is the Ladias. So, today I've got a standard against the Ebra's Asylum mod, Rose. She's a chick, I know what you're thinking. Whoa, on the internet, but it's true. So we both lead with Uxies and she sets up rocks while I go for a trick. That is bitch and shit, cause Uxie with a tr um, choice scarf that doesn't have trick is shit. So I T-wave that um, on the switch into the Registeel and I trick again to steal its leftovers. Now usually I'd like knock off there, but so I figured, hey, I don't need a focus sash, I might as well steal them. Which works out pretty well, he gets a toxic off me, which is uncool I guess, but meh. So I get my rocks up, and he goes for an ice beam. And I have to switch now, and I know I have to switch, but I don't think he knows I have to switch. So, I was predicting the Toxic here, because I had to stay in and get Toxic and nothing would happen and I'd just get hurt. So, um, I think there he would have gone for the Toxic, I'm not sure. I don't actually know what I was talking about earlier, I just forget what I said, I'm retarded. So I go for a Grass Knot on the Registeel, Ice, Reggie Ice, and he gets, oh, she gets a double Power Hacks. Sorry, Rose, if I call you he during this, I'm just used to narrating like I'm playing against a dude. So the grass not does shit all as sh um, she gets a double power hacks, which is pretty uncool. Then she uses a T bolt, which would have actually done like less to my slow king than it did to my houndoom, because it's a special wall and it's a man and shit. She should really, she probably should have gone for the toxic there. But either way, I'm gonna go for an overheat on the switch because scarf houndoom is sexy. So shit goes down. Um, the um, slow, the Uxie takes a shitload, and I just go into my hit on top. I forget why. Oh yeah, to spin the rocks, I think. So she's a sc she's a screening Uxie, and she gets the reflect up. And I don't think I played like the reflect was up. I wonder if that affected my game. Either way, spin here, I guess. Yeah, I do. Fucking good. So this Gyarados is what we like to call the bane of my motherfucking life. She goes for the dragon out to switch into my champ. I'm like, okay, live the waterfall, thunder punch. Live the waterfall, thunder punch. My champ can live a bulky Gyarados waterfall plus one. But this is a life of the Gyarados, so it shits all up and down me. And that was my 1 OU, that was my go to guy, and I'm in a bit of shit now. So I go for the um, fake out there just to try and start dealing damage to this Gyarados, because at the very least I can life orb stall it. So then I go back into my slow king to take the waterfall. I'm where I'm wasting his reflect here and um, doing something to his yeah life orb stalling him. Now I was hoping I could live an earthquake at that point just on how much the waterfall did. However, I cannot. Dog to Dre is gonna get dicked all up and down. So the Gyarados is currently raping the shit out of my team. So then I go into my Inno Joe just for the Dark Pulse to finish it off. And that's good, but I lost two Pokemon, including my OU. So that's not good news, so I'm not gonna lie. Now I was so sure this fucking Charizard was scarfed. Why else would he bring it on a Houndoom? Why? So I go to my Oxy, and he goes for the G Dragon Pulse there, and I'm on 225 there, so I should live this. I did 105 damage. I did 105 damage. Apparently this Charizard was specs, by the way. I'm on 120. You random number fucking generator piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. I'd have got off a... I forget what I was going for. A knockoff, maybe? Or a T-Wave? One of the good ones. But I just go for a fake out and a Mac Punch with my old hit on top, so it's okay. Either way, I'd prefer not to take that life of damage if I could help it. I might put lefties on him on top, see how it works. So in comes the Rosa Raid, and I don't have anything to take like grass moves, so I just go for a bullet punch. I also figure I need my Houndoom, he's going to be the key to winning this game. 
the leaf stone goes down and I'm pretty sure I die. Yep, I die. And I keep getting the feeling this thing's scarfed and like, I'm just, I'm, the whole time I'm just worried it's going to be outspeeding my Houndoom. I don't know why, but I do. So in comes the Uxie and I'm hoping I didn't overheat there. Yeah, I didn't, so this should just be like a 2 at KO or Oh, I just won. Nice. I'm good. I am good. So in comes this thing, and I'm so slow. Like, if, if this is slower than me, I could have just flamethrowed it here and just be done with it. But I was so scared it was faster than me that I go out and waste my um. Omastar. So Omastar gets blamed by a hidden power ground. That sucks. Didn't I think that was the first time Omastar came out again. So then I go into this thinking, oh great, here comes in power ground, and I outspeed it. If I'd known I outspeed it, this game would have gone marginally differently. So I take that out, one on one on one, no, two on one now. Oh, he has, um, I forget what he has left. Nothing much, though. Oh yeah, he's a Reggie Ice, that was it. And I'm pretty sure my hand could take that. So. I'm I'm not sure if like my almost would have been able to do anything against his Tita, so I think I'd have lost anyway, but that was gay what I did. I'm shit at Pokemon. So that's me gone and good game rose. Shit all over me. I haven't lost in a while. It put me back in my place. Well, ciao for now, peoples. Bye bye.